Hello everyone. I'm back with a different topic today and this topic is regarding uh, lots of people keep asking me in my store they come uh, or they send me in a comment or emails why their hard drives are failing and suddenly just it starts working and it starts working once they start transferring files stuff like that. I've been doing servicing and repairing and recovering files for over at least I would say 17 years or 18 years. And I seen so many hard drives, uh, modern hard drive, consumer grade hard drives, uh, business hard drive, NAS hard drives, all types of the hard drives we seen and we recovered files. And one thing that we always realize that the, no matter what brand hard drive you buy, it all depends if you buy a consumer grade, two terabyte, four terabyte consumer grade, those consumer grade hard drives are designed by design, not by, by defect is by design are meant to fail after one year, two years of the use, depending how much you use it, they start failing at least after a couple of years and depending again the use of how many files you're transferring over. Not because of it degrades and the plate platters on them or stuff like that, that's another situation. I'm going to go with the, with the dirtiest trick that they do in here and is they've been doing this for over years, at least I'll say 10 years they've been doing this. And I'm going to open and demonstrate the difference and why they're doing it. And what are the intentions. It's not a defect or anything like that. There are programs you can connect the hard drive in or you can download the program. And that program, it will tell you how many errors, uh, file transfer errors that it has. It will tell you 300, 400 uh, file transfer communication errors between the hard drives. And most people say, like, oh, no, you know what? You got to change your SATA cable. That's not the issue. It's not the issue. It's not because of the, at least 99% is not the issue because of the SATA cable and stuff like that. And if your hard drive get an error because of the file transfer, there's a really easy fix for that. I will show you. I'll make another video how to do the proper way of doing it. I'll leave that link in the video description. But in this video, I'm going to go over the dirty uh, work behind this one, the techniques that they all the brands, Toshiba, Seagate, or Western Digital, they all do. They all follow the same rule. And let's get into it and let me show you. The reason that, and that you get after, let's say you want to transfer a big file from one hard drive to a second hard drive, and during the transfer, the hard drive just disconnects and connects. The reason it's because of the motherboard design on the motherboard. And uh, let's say this one is a mid-grade consumer, no, it's like a mid-grade uh, hard drives. These are a consumer-grade hard drives, okay? And these are, again, two different hard drives, Seagate and HDST, which is a Western Digital brand. So first, let's open up uh, one of these hard drives right in here. We're going to open up the motherboard on the bottom. I'm going to use my iFixit screwdriver set. And we are gonna grab a bit, I believe this one right here. No, nope, that's too big. Is a torque number nine. We're gonna use torque number nine. They all use a different screw sometimes. So we're gonna remove the screws on the bottom of the board and we're gonna expose the board and you're gonna see what they do and why they are doing it. And people say, oh, no, that's a defective. It's not defective. It is made by design. So they don't want consumer-grade hard drive to last. So they do this uh, dirty work. So people keep buying hard drives or they go for data, data recovery. And right here, we're going to lift up this motherboard right in here. And we're going to put it right away here. And right away, we're going to see there is uh, two connectors on the hard drive. These are the pins. These are golden pins. Like uh, they, they are gold-plated. These are for the motor, for the platters to rotate. These are for those contacts. And these contacts right over here, these contacts are made for the actuator or the arm that goes over the hard drive. And these two, they need to be synchronized and they need to work with this motherboard right over here. And if you look at it, if I lift it up like this, bring it up this way, these pins, the really tiny pins over here, these pins, they have to touch these contact pins right over here. They are really like uh, oxidized and dirty, and it's, you can barely see them. And the pins right over here, they have to touch these contact points right over here. 
You see, even if I put my finger over, it just cleans up a little bit. So what is in here? This is not dirt. This is just because of the electricity when it transfers from metal to metal. And if the contact is poor contact, it creates a, a little layer of the oxidization on top. And that's what is happening right over here with these contacts. So pretty much, uh, so this is what you get on a consumer grade, uh, plain contacts with no protection or anything on top. So after a few years of use or at least one year of use, because of the voltage that transfers from this metal to this port and generates uh, oxidization on uh, this port. So let's put this one to one side and let's open another one. So I'm going to open up this one right here. This is another Seagate. We're going to lift this one up. And you can see this board goes like that. So when I flip over, I can see these pins. They have to touch these contacts right in here. These contacts are a little bit more cleaner. But it's still, I can see one really like an oxidized right over on this one right in here. There is one bad one. So because of one tiny pin that gets oxidized, even the other ones are bad too. And then you get arrows of the file transfer and stuff like that. And look at these three pins on the bottom that right over here. They touch these three pins right over here. Again, the rotation of the motor can stop for a fraction of a second and that can give an error and shut down the hard drive and turn back on. Now that we saw these two conventional type, this applies for, I can open and I got many of them, Western Digital, doesn't matter what brand, they all uh, work the same way. They are all designed by the same. Now let's grab a hard drive. This is a professional grade hard drive, it's a two terabyte. And we're gonna remove the screws on this one and we're gonna see the difference. Now we're gonna remove this one. And right away, we can see we have isolation pads right in here to keep the humidity. And also we see a thermal pad right in here to touching this chip right in here, which we have it in every single hard drive. This thermal pad keeps the chip running cooler so it can last longer in here. They do not give you any of pads or anything like that. Okay. And secondary, if the hard drive was like this, we're gonna lift it up. And we're going to see in here, we don't have any pressure points in here. It comes, uh, they have a pads, golden uh, pads right in here. And if you look closer to the pins right in here, these pins are covered with a solder on top. And the solder will not let the pads oxidize. So the solders will touch nicely to these pins without oxidizing or anything like that. And you have a solid connection and perfect File transfer, perfect connection you're going to have through these pins. So that's the reason your hard drive will not fail. It's not because of the brand or anything. It's just because of the hard drive grade. If you have a premium grade hard drive, they will give you a solder pad. And uh, for the motor, they give you pins right on this side, golden, golden uh, shield. So you get a perfect motor contact. So this hard drive will last you many, many years compared to a consumer grade two terabyte ones. This is a 3.5 inch hard drives. The same thing goes for a, a laptop hard drives. Here we have two laptop hard drives, Seagate, and we have another HDST hard drives. We're gonna remove this motherboard and we're gonna take a look and see if they do the same thing on a laptop hard drives. So let's grab a Philips double zero and we're gonna remove the three the screws on the one on the right. Let's go ahead and lift up this one here. There's an isolation pad in here. And we have a golden uh, gold plated pads right in here for the motor. And we have the same type of pins in a smaller scale. And if we remove them like this, we can see that their contact for the motor, they do have a good quality. They have a spring loaded metals with a golden, golden plated uh, contacts so we have no problem right there but the major problem is right over on the contact on the actuator so look at the actuator contacts right here so you can see these contacts they have to touch this one look at the oxidization on this one's right in here there's no water damage or anything like that it's just a normal 
use typical, normal wear and tear. So that's what happens. So once you get a, any laptop hard drive, they don't give you a premium. If you, you get a premium laptop, they do not give you a premium hard drive for it unless you purchase yours. You can get a two terabyte, even some two terabyte, they don't have a soldered pads. So this is one. So let's open up this other one. This one is a Western Digital. So we're gonna remove all the screws on this one. This one, we're gonna lift up this one. And right away we can see that this one has a golden pads on the motor, plated, uh, golden plated pads, nice pads. On these models, they didn't do anything dirty work or anything like that. They actually soldered, put solder on the pads right in here. Look at nice and beautiful right in here. So they make a perfect contact. So this hard drive will last much, much longer compared to the other one. So. On the laptops, you can, depending on the brand, uh, or even the brands, depends the category of the brand. They give you a consumer grade or high grade. I recommend you guys to open it up and check your pads. So this is the reason, now you can see the reason why the hard drives are designed to fail because of the manufacturer. They don't want consumer grade hard drives last forever. They want people to keep purchasing and purchasing and recycling their hard drives. They don't want them to last longer. So they design it by design. Some of them with the pads that can get oxidized. And if you buy the premium one for the server or whatever high end use, they give you pads with the soldered on. So it will not fail. So those are the different, same thing for the laptops. I made a video, how to fix all this, how you can prevent them, how to do it. I'll leave that video to not make this video longer. I'll leave that link in the video description. You can go there and you can open up your hard drive. It's very safe and you can fix it so it will not um, get any transfer errors and it can last you much longer. Again, I hope you guys like this video and I helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to help you guys and answer them as soon as I can. If you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos. Take requests and answer your questions in the commentary.